No, I'm not going to do. Uh, I was thinking Magic the Gathering, but God, I got I got 29 minutes of play time. I didn't even want to deal with the tutorial. Here's the thing about Magic the Gathering as a digital card game. I need an option to just say, I've played this game. Turn off the tutorial, and just skip to the end because they want want me to go through each thing, and I'm just like, I don't got time for this. You know. Well, it's it's like entering a bike race, already knowing how to ride a bike, and then having somebody say, okay, we have to make sure you know how to ride a bike. So what I want you to do is take the bike out of, of your apartment, and I want you to sit on it. Don't ride yet. Don't ride yet. All right? We want to make sure you know how to sit on a bike. I'm like, oh, my God. No, I, I, I generally can't do it. I don't like being held up when I know how to do something, you know? And if I don't know how to do something, I'd rather learn from my mistakes than be handheld along the way. Question, did anybody have these? Craft macaroni and cheese with cartoon characters. Dude, they had all of them. Look at all the Pokemon boxes. Uh, Looney Tunes. Uh, ugh. These aren't even characters. They're just numbers. Macaroni and cheese with numbers. Now, at least this looks like it, right? Look, they got little Meowiths in there. It's pretty good. Meowit. Oh, Shrek. That is the that is not the face I want to see in the morning when I'm, when, or dinner or any time I'm eating, just staring at me from across the table. Oh. Donkey! Oh, God. Yeah, so this one had Jigglypuff. This one had Charmander. This one had Meowth. This had a Swirly Bro. Squirtle. Dude, Pikachu. Nice. I thought vampires don't get hungry, but bloodthirsty. Oh, we could eat food. You're watching too many Hollywood movies. You yeah. know? You can't eat. Everything turns to ash in our mouth. No, no. Unless it's McDonald's. Because that's, pro I think, what it's made out of, honestly. Not substantiated, but that's just how I feel. All right. Um, I, I discovered something, too. This is actually a little alarming, but also intriguing at the same time. We had to ask an older folk if they've ever heard of this. So for those of you who are older folk, have you ever heard of this? And have you ever tried it? That thing being potato fudge. Potato fudge. Potato fudge. Oh, now I'm too tiny. All right. Potato fudge is apparently a thing because it does exist. It has existed. And there's a way to actually make potato fudge. No, not gravy. Not gravy. I know that was my first instinct. So gravy. No, it's sweet. It's literally made with chocolate. So we we actually looked it up. We had to look it up. So, but I'm curious if anyone's ever had it or even heard of it while I have coffee. This is another American get fat kind of food. Oh no, no, it gets worse. All right. You think this is America get fat food? All right. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh my God. Look at his face. He's like, oh, I'll eat these now because they're covered in chocolate. Because the salt, pepper, and butter covering the, the whole thing with oil wasn't enough. I'm surprised America as a country isn't just dead. Like, I'm surprised we have a population. Chocolate tater fudge. These look good. These are made with potatoes. Apparently, you can make fudge with potatoes. This one looks excellent. I'm going to try this one. Right? This seems like we should have all died of heart attacks and sugar comas ages ago. Right? I, I feel like it, you're not an American if you haven't had a heart attack by the time you're 15. <laughs> You know, especially if you grew up in like the 50s to 90s, people started getting a little bit more health conscious in the 90s. But like what? In the 50s, people for breakfast had meat with meat and more meat and then eggs. And everything was whole milk. Everything was whole milk. Everything. You know, now like what? Skim milk didn't come out until like the 80s, right? Um, the other thing I like about this, it's a super easy recipe that only takes a few minutes. I got a few minutes. Um, it's rich, creamy, and sweet. The perfect fudge. Top tip, two hours is the minimum chilling time for best results. Chill overnight, bro. All right, look, they don't even use real potatoes. They are, they are going, they are rolling ghetto with the Idaho instant potatoes. I use those, by the way. Um, condensed milk, uh... Almond bark. They should just stop calling it bark. It just sounds like I'm eating a sweet tree. Um, yeah, so basically four things. And sprinkles. Melted chocolate. 
Pour in condensed milk, mix in your potatoes, let chill. Put sprinkles on it. it it's a it's supposedly good, dude. I will try I'll try anything weird once as long as there's no fish in it. I don't like fish. Why is my nose running? Oh god. We opened up a window and all the allergies came in. Mm. Of course I don't have any of the ingredients, but I do have mashed potatoes. How do I do this tonight? If I knew about this recipe earlier in the day, I might have gotten the ingredients for it. But Well, okay, here's the thing about the potato fudge. I, I assumed there'd be less sugar in it because it's not pure sh freaking... Because when you make fudge, you got to put like what? Not only chocolate, which has sugar in it, more sugar, and then something else on top of that. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, God. I hate that. Give me a second. Mm. There's other weird potato things, dude. How come we didn't, nobody told me this? And hey, I grew up with a lot of Irish people around me. Nobody told me about potato fudge. You know, potatoes are very Irish. And you figure somebody within that heritage would have been like, bro, you haven't tried potatoes until you try potato fudge. Or did Americans just say potatoes need chocolate and made this? And that's why everyone from Ireland is just like, this is so gross. This is so gross. But look at all these things. Look, three ingredients swirled Nutella fudge. Nutella fudge. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Nutella. Why is this not tracking me properly? Nah, man. I hate when things don't don't follow where I'm supposed to be going properly. I I I like literally had to sh tell the program where my eyebrow was. I right, I know it's a nuanced little thing. All right, look. See, raise my eyebrow. Right? It wasn't doing that before. Yeah. See? Huh? Really? Interesting? What? See, that's kind of important. I know I'm not very expressive, but the few expressiveness qualities I have, I would like them to work. You know? God. Come on, technology. Get good. All right, all right. We got dulce de leche fudge. Okay, whatever. Microwave fudge. Tips for making old-fashioned fudge. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I didn't get to say hi to people. <laughs> God, I got the. Sorry, I got distracted by fudge. All right. Um, 